Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking this time out to listen. Today, I am discussing with some of my listeners, how open-minded are you? You see, people talk about how open-minded they are about all sorts of things, and they describe themselves as being free-spirited. But then upon closer inspection, you realize they're not so open-minded or free-spirited or free-thinking as they claim to be. You see, people have a limitation on what they can tolerate, what they will listen to, what they will do. And when you test them, as the Bible suggests, we test the spirits, you find out that they are not as open as they claim. I had this discussion not that long ago with a sister who we were just vibing about some things that we experienced over the years. And she quickly said after having gone through a major ordeal that she had to admit she was not as open-minded as she thought she was. You see, just as God will test us using his signs, his miracles, wonders, people coming into our lives, people going out of our lives, Satan will do the same thing. He will test us on our belief system. He will test us on just about anything that comes out of our mouth sooner or later. And so if we're sitting there and we're saying things like, oh, I'm so open-minded, I'm a free-spirited person, Satan and his minions are sitting back saying, Lord, did you hear what he or she just said? Can I test this person? And so before long, you are looking at something that blows your mind. You're hearing something that makes you bristle. You're going somewhere that you don't want to go to. All because you told someone, I'm so open-minded. Sure. So when we think about those things that we claim that we're so open-minded about, a lot of those things tend to be sinful. A lot of those things tend to have Satan's stamp on it. We might justify, we might cover up, we might even lie to other people, but we know that when it's contrary to God's word, when we know that it is something that goes against something within us, when we know that it is something that folks on the outside looking in who know us would say, wait a minute, what are you, what are you doing? We got to know that we're not as open-minded or free-spirited as we claim to be. I will be the first to put my hand up and say I am not as open-minded as I thought. Nope, I'm not. Back in 1993, 94, 95, 96, those were the years where I was tested. And those were the years that I wasn't thinking about God. And I will tell you that with every test that Satan put before me, I did not come out feeling good. I did not come out looking good. And there were times where I just questioned who had I become? What was I doing? What was the purpose? And even some folks were asking me, what are you doing? You see... We think sometimes that we can take a whole lot and we think that we can walk away from situations unscathed. But sometimes some things take place in our lives that scar us, that wound us, that hurt us so deeply, that make other people question what is going on with us. 
And when we open ourselves up to all sorts of things, we don't establish any boundaries, we don't have any standards, people will run over us, people will use us, people will do unspeakable acts upon us if we let them. If we lower our, our inhibitions during this so-called time of open-mindedness, we also do the unthinkable. We put ourselves in situations that we could very well lose our lives. Is it really worth it? Is it really worth going around telling people that you're down for whatever, that you're open to anything, only for them to say, okay, let me see how far I can take you. Let me push the envelope a bit. Let's see how this person's going to react if I do A, B, and C. I will tell you that there are many people that run to the church due to trauma. Many others end up in jail, some six feet deep, and others in a psychiatric ward trying to figure out how in the world did they end up going mad. You might not have reached that point in your life yet where you can say that something happened to you that messed you up. But if you continue to walk on a path of wild behavior where you're open to any and everything, where you're telling others that you're down for whatever, at some point you're going to experience something that's not going to be easy to bounce from. It's not going to be the type of thing that you could be able to just say, I'm healed and thank you, Jesus. It just might be that point of no return in your mindset. It might be something that happens within your body where there is no cure. So be very careful when you're talking to people and try not to give Satan a foothold in your life by claiming that you are so free spirited and so open minded because he will, he will test you. He will use his minions to do the very things that you never even imagined. Well, I thank you so much for taking the time out to listen to this message. Please do check the description box for anything related to your situation. You were listening to YouTube channel NM Enterprise 7. Please do subscribe or give a donation. We greatly appreciate it.